The 10,000 hour rule. First of all, first of all, I'd like to start with saying welcome and I hope you guys had an amazing time off and that you enjoyed your families and you're prepping yourself for your next step inside of your journey that you're about to take four leaps into. So, but as you see in the heading, the 10,000 hour rule in the world of business is also applicable in the world of boxing. And what is the 10,000 hour rule? It takes 10,000 hours to acquire a skill set or the understanding of any kind of concept, whether it's from medical, whether it's from sports, or whether it's understanding the human body like a doctor or a physical therapist, a coach, the 10,000 hour rule basically takes you past the point of just learning something and putting it in your head opposed to being able to regurgitate it out. It kind of allows you that moment of being able to handle it in a scenario where it really tests your fortitude when you're in a tight situation or when you see how apply the rule of valor from sports like football in the NFL. They have preseason, they have regular season, then they have the playoffs and there's the Super Bowl. Each one of those levels, they acquire particular skill set. One specifically is the tangibles, speed, power, explosiveness and the other one is the intangibles i'll reflect to a basketball game last night even so lebron james all the tangibles of an elite athlete and Kawhi leonard who was groomed by tim duncan coach popovich one of the things that you know and you see in Kawhi Leonard that you don't see in LeBron James consistently is the killer instinct. But the difference is Kawhi Leonard keeps, has such a composure that even after beating LeBron James and the Lakers twice, they ask him how it felt to win. He's like, how big a win is this? It's nothing because it's regular season. And that's what happens when you are groomed up under elite teachers. And what you got to understand is that the best is yet to come. He went to Toronto, knocked off the dynasty of Golden State just this year. And that was because what he had up here and his intangibles. LeBron James has always been questioned about his killer instinct. He doesn't have that same Jordan killer instinct. So at towards the, they were up by 15, then going into the four, as the game wound down where it counts most, what you saw is they started to crumble mentally, internally. That's when the intangibles come into play. Well, then you see guys like Kawhi Leonard, who's the most composed, his team had character as the, the winding moments closed. And that's what you call those intangibles. That's where the 10,000 hour rule kicks in. You can have all the athleticism as you want or desire. But when it comes to winning on an elite level, the pressure is so much higher that once you realize that you're in that scenario, you will go back to your childhood 
And if you had a father instilling toughness inside of you, you'll start to permeate those intangibles instilled in DNA, Kawhi Leonard, Tom Brady, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, greater fighters. Always find a way whenever it's no way. And that's where the 10,000 rule comes into play. Intangible. So when we started the Master Boxing Academy online, we wanted to give separation to the market for coaches who have other guys out there coaching. We wanted to separate them by creating and building a platform of teachers, which is obvious that the game is missing these days. There are not enough teachers because they don't have a pool of knowledge that they're pulling from. Everybody's doing the same thing. You're watching this guy do mitts. You're watching this guy work with his guys in shadow boxing. You're watching them do footwork. So your your process is all scattered. So what you want to think about is why we made this platform. So we are building teachers. And when it's all said and done, I, with the experience that I have, work for you. You have to build a team. I'm one of your first employees. The fighter is the boss, but the coach, the teacher, is the CEO. He actually creates the GM. He dictates what's necessary to happen. The guy who owns everybody, he's the boss, the fighter, actually signs off on it. The school of boxing basically allows you the freedom to have those intangibles and still the 10,000 hour rule. There have been a multitude of people going out, purchasing the peekaboo and the Philly shell, um, punch, excuse me, punch pad for pros. That's great. That's your offense. The school of boxing is your defense. Just to put it into perspective, the school of boxing will make sure that you keep those intangibles ingrained so that your tangibles come into play and are most effective for you. Hope that makes sense. And if I do, please sign off. Give me a like or that you understand because that's what we're doing, creating a different space for you. We're separating you, not just as coaches, teachers, and then you're reaching a lead level of a professor. So make sure that these things are front and center. The next thing that I'm going to get into is allowing you to <clears throat> realize that you watch me work, most of you, and guys like Jay who had other coaches from other um, teachings compare pretty much and they get a little riled when they see your program this looks different it looks better and Jay can speak to this as we talked on the phone and he made it clear that the other guys feel jealous because their program doesn't keep it coming we keep it coming we are we are separate we are an entire university of knowledge people run out they go to YouTube, they go to Instagram, they try to pick and piece things together. Whereas you have a curriculum, you don't have to ever stress about anything. That's where the envy comes in because they see that your program separates from theirs and it's not even close. That's what we give to you. So we want to make it clear to you that this isn't just you having a bunch of content. This is a process in which you're going to learn now, over in Hong Kong, you got the exact same situation where people see you have a, a much further and in-depth system that you're working from. You're not working from a skills base. You're working from a system. So 
With that being said, there's going to be envy, but that's irrelevant to you because you're having to take and wait on your shoulders, carry on your shoulders what a teacher does. A teacher has to carry more than a coach will because a teacher has a higher responsibility because eventually his objective is to teach the coaches pretty much. So that's like they say with God, he never gives you more than what you can handle. And that's why you're here. You've been led to do the right thing. So just think about it when I break it down about Kawhi Leonard versus a LeBron James. It's the intangibles that create separation. When you look at Andre Ward, when you look at Floyd Mayweather, and then you look at people like Roy Jones, why were they so successful? Because they didn't just have speed, quickness, power, athleticism. They had the intangibles in which we will make sure that you edify, that we edify you. So another great point is when I see you guys getting those really, really in-depth teachings like the peekaboo one and two, the Philly shell one and two, multiple people got them yesterday. That's one person and you'll know who you are. One hour bought one bundle, next hour bought another, next hour. Look, if you're in the school of boxing, you can get yourself, position yourself. If you want to get them and you do not have them, you can, because it's your whole entire program. It's your D that's your offense. The school of boxing is your defense. Defense wins championship. Offense fills up the arena. When you got the Teofimo Lopez is of the world. Um, when you have guys who have explosive offenses, Deontay Wilder, they fill up the arena. Anthony Joshua, people who can knock you out. That's offense, peekaboo, Philly Shell, all of these very in-depth teachings. And you will not only have them, but that will separate you because 85% of the coaching world does not have the curriculum to teach these things. So first, that's one of the key separations. But nothing goes without your defense, which is the school of boxing. Tangibles versus intangibles. The 10,000 hour rule, you have to not only get a skill. And this is why searching on YouTube and searching on Instagram and searching on Facebook for skills is ineffective because you're not going to take those skills and implement them for 10,000 hours. You think you can do three hours here, two hours here, five, five hours on this skill. And then that, no, that does not equate. It's your system that you have to make applicable for 10,000 hours. You can't learn addition, you know, for 3,000 and then learn uh, calculus for, for 7,000 and be a mathematician. You still don't know algebra. You got to have it all. You got to understand the process. So ingraining that muscle memory, I mean, would you allow a doctor to work on you uh, who's got his education on Google? Absolutely not. That is bananas. Same thing with boxing. Someone can die if your skill set is not intact. Do not rush it. Remember, the 10,000 hour rule is a real thing. Bowie Fisher was the coach and teacher, excuse me, for Bernard Hopkins. George Benson, which is one of the few fighters that became a teacher and was very, very successful. Archie Moore, one of the greatest fighters, if not the greatest fighter, arguably over the duration of all time. Great fighter, great teacher, had systems in which he taught. Shouts out to J. Marie Moore, who's happened to be in this group and explain in depth how there's a great separation between coaches and the teachers in the world. Coaches are bouncing around, learning stuff. There are some of the top coaches right now in boxing, coaching, let's just say titles. They're picking little stuff off a master boxing page even from my stories, and they're using little stuff, dibits here, dibits there, and eventually that'll all explode 
right in their face, they'll lose, their fighter will lose for the wrong reason. If you stay the course, your objective is to make sure that you prepare your fighter for a battle and even in a loss that he has the character to supersede that moment and learn how to come back from it, apply it in his life and continue to build upon take I did a post just last week with the image when humble lose and learn embrace the process and that's what we're going to make sure that we are behind you 1000% so I'm not going to let you guys get off course remember the school of boxing is your defense those styles and you will need those styles because that is your offense. Those are the things that will create separation in those tough moments. But the school of boxing, what that does is solidify your Michael Jordan, your Tom Brady, Coach Belichick, Kawhi Leonard. It'll solidify your intangible that matters most. So I hope this was very informative to you. Any of you who took the time to really listen, we've been removing people who aren't ready in the group right now. And we also select if we think you don't, you're you not ready to be a teacher or if you fight, if we don't see the right intangibles, we remove you. This is not about numbers. This is all about the right people representing the brand and the school of boxing. You now have a platform where you can be looked at as someone who took the right road to learn this stuff, whether you fight or whether you teach. All right. So I hope that was enough information for you to move forward going into 2020 and when someone's looking at this next year, you know, that 2021, 2022, regardless of when you see it, that it's clear that you understand the 10,000 hour rule. There are no shortcuts. Don't be the guy reaching out saying, I'm learning so much from you and you're just on our page or Instagram or YouTube. We're not teaching there. We're just showing. And you got to understand that there's 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes two hours before we even shoot a clip that you didn't learn all of that stuff that gets you to that point. So, you know, never fret over here. We're making sure that there's separation between you and those other people, individuals who do not understand are not willing for the process. They're not ready. So take advantage of it. If you guys are looking to take another step and saying, all right, I want to start having that other, those other programs as well. While you're learning this stuff, um, just make sure if you reach out to do that champions bundle or either one of the bundles that you get on a, you get on a call with me. Okay. And let's discuss how to utilize it because just this weekend, people were not the weekend, but yesterday, yeah, people get purchasing the things. You got to make sure you get on a call with me. So like I said, you understand how to implement it. I want you guys on course. I don't want you to come off course. There are no sh shortcuts, but there is a right way to do it. That's all I got for right now. Coach Bradley signing out. Be blessed at God's speed. I hear the bell. I got to get out of here because class is in session. January, January 1, 2020. Man. Thank you, guys. Peace.